Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be tying this, which is effectively a Chernobyl ant style fly. It's not really match the hatch, but it's certainly effective. Going fishing with a friend in a few weeks that doesn't fish that often and let's say he likes to be economical with his fishing, especially with the fish are on top. So he'll certainly uh, be looking to pop this out and not do a whole lot with it, maybe give it a little pull now and again and hopefully if the fish are on the take off the surface they'll come up and nail this so um, let's get stuck right into it so in the vise folks we've got an osprey size 10 nymph hook, obviously it's quite a long shanked hook and we've already put a bit of orange cell foam that's been cut to the same length as the other colours through the hook because we need a bottom section Colours and size very much down to yourself and obviously you can cut and trim as you go along. Obviously you don't want to be putting the whole board on but um, yeah, just pick a rectangle shape size that, that works for the size of hook you're going to use. I'm going to come in with some black Uni AO that I've put some wax on just at this point here and start to come down the shank. Then run the thread down to roughly where that barb is that you'll probably flatten at your leisure. I'm just going to snip this away and then we're, what we're going to do is bring the foam around and get a turn in just to lock that on in that direction. And then at the same time you're going to want to come in with your other foam and set this on top and come in with a turn and just stack this together a couple of turns just tighten up on it and if you want you can put super glue in between these sections just to hold all in place Okay, now at this stage what you're going to do is just come up the body, pick the distance that you want to have your sections at to create that, that ribbed effect or that sectioned effect to the body. A couple of turns at each point. and at this first second section if that makes sense I'm going to come in and catch some centipede legs And then you can trim these to a length that you want them, don't want them massive. And then continue up with your sectioning of the body. And then when you get to this stage, when you get a little bit closer to the eye, what you want to do is take your dubbing needle and put a hole through the bottom bit of foam. Reasonable size. Because you're going to pop this up and through. And then create that 
final section at the front. Okay, so at this point we're going to catch in a couple of different bits and pieces just on the front. So we've got some more silly centipede legs to catch on. There's a couple of tongues. Just going to shorten down this front bit here. Give them a stretch, put them wherever you want to put them. And then we're also going to catch on a little bit of crystal flash. Doesn't need to be excessive, but again, it's just a little bit of something that might help the fish see the fly depending on what angle they're coming at it from. So just catching this on the top and folding it back. And you can pick your length and trim this away. So I appreciate that's just gone everywhere but we will uh, sort that out in a second. And then we're going to add on a little bit of deer hair, but this is a bleached and dyed orange deer hair. Again, just add a little bit of a wing to the fly and also a bit of a, an additional sighter for, uh, for the angler to be able to see where the fly's at. Make sure you've locked the deer hair in place. And then you can come in and trim away these excess pieces. Okay, and then the last thing to add in is just another little bit of foam just on the top at the front. And then you can come in and trim this down. And come in at this point and get some super glue on your thread. Be careful not to touch anything you don't want to touch. And then carefully you can come in and whip finish at this point. And the last thing to do folks is just tidy up this back end piece and cut it into a shape that you're happy with that's effectively buggy enough for you. So I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit, take those corners away into more of a point. And there you have it folks, a somewhat Chernobyl and 
type fly that will definitely float, there's no chance this thing sinking anytime soon and hopefully if the fish are looking up and are happy to take something that's being pulled across the surface they'll come up and hit it. If you thought it was useful as always hit the bell, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Really good to hear from you soon. Cheers.